What's going on guys, it's Romana here, and today I want to introduce you to the Pokemon SPC, which is pretty much Showdown, which stands for Showdown League Battle, so Showdown Battle Championship, it's a, it's, it's like a GBA League, but for like, well, Pokemon Showdown, and we just had our, um, we just had our, had, oh my god, we just had our draft, uh, the other day, we have, none of the Pokemon that are here are all my, like, like the Pokemon that it says I have on, on this, on the draft paper, I don't actually have because um, I was uh, had to get to restart. So this is kind of this is kind of um, the only thing right is like Trakion, um, Mega Swampert. That's the only th th those are the only two that are right on here. But anyway, so pretty much we have um, we had a draft already. Everyone got. Uh, 11 Pokemon, except for this guy who didn't make it and got replaced by the, some, I forgot, um, two parkour for you. Alright, so, pretty much you get 1,000 points and then 180 for a Mega. Um, if you don't use up all 180 on a Mega, you can, uh, those extra points go to your total points to get dra to draft Pokemon. So, OUA is 180, OUB is 140, BL is 100, UU is 80, RU is 16, and U is 40, and U is 1,000. So, pretty much... First Pokemon that I drafted was Weezing, mostly be, mostly because it's a defensive wall. People people were like, "Why did you draft Weezing first? People people usually use like top tier Pokemon first. And I'm like, "Oh, okay." So my second Pokemon that I chose was actually Mega Swampert, not Rotom, but it was Mega Swampert mainly because um another guy picked Mega Lopunny and we're like, "Okay, we're going Megas now." So uh, Mega Swampert is a good counter to Mega Lopunny because it can take a high jump kick pretty well and then do a hammer. Um, use hammer arm and one shot easy. Another Pokemon that I picked was Rotom Wash. Now Rotom Wash, you already know why. <laughs> Kenmore. Um, just just watch on my Wi-Fi. That was just Kenmore. Uh, I also chose Glade. Now Glade, I also chose because of the Mega Megalopony. Plus, he does really good around. Um, gets a really good move pull. Plus, he does uh, really good around most of the most of my opponent's team, which you're gonna see. It's at the bottom here, like right down there. Um. Uh, and then we got Trevenant to you. Um, I chose Trevenant because um, my opponent had a, my um, the one of the main threats that this guy brought was Mega Slowbro, and Trevenant seems to be a really good counter to Mega Slowbro. Uh, but um, it seems that he's gonna run a just really defensive stall, Mega Slowbro. So uh, this, the uh, next Pokemon that I chose was Smeargle, and I chose Smeargle because well, I needed a good BL Pokemon that I yeah a really good BL Pokemon and. It can set up rocks, it can set up sticky webs, it can spore, it can sketch other moves, it's really good. Um, I just put her, I just put Smeargle in as there like a filler, because we do have Galvantula to set up rocks. We have, oh my god, we have like, a Swapper to set up rocks, Smeargle to set up rocks, Tyrakion to set up rocks, Lattice to get away rocks, and Galvantula to set up sticky web. That's, that's huge. Um, then we got Tyrakion, Tyrakion here. Uh, I put it on just because we needed more offensive power, because like, Weezing... Um, Rotom Wash and Trevenant, they're not really offensive, so I decided to put Terrakion on this team. Now I put Latias, I put Latias mostly because we needed a more specially offensive Pokemon, because none of the Pokemon that we chose were specially offensive, maybe Rotom could be specially offensive, but not, not, but it's mostly going to be used as a wall. So, I chose Latias because it can get away rocks, it can be defensive, offensive, physical, special, um, it's, Aladius is a really good Pokemon, to be honest. Uh, plus it is really good against some of the Pokemon that are below. Chandler, I also chose because, oh, well, I can choose two UUs and an NU at this point. So, I went with Chandler because it's fast, it can, it can actually run a sub call mindset. Uh, I chose Galvantula because it can set up Sticky Web, plus it does really good against a Mega Slowbro. And Reg, I, I chose because it's extremely bulky if I run, um, fully... Uh, physically defensive set, uh, it's special defense already comes into play because he already has base like 200, which is the biggest in the game, period. Plus his HP is extremely huge, plus Regice can set up the rain for Mega Swampert, so it can rotate him. And Regice can do a, just a lot of things. Now, my opponent's team is Mew, uh, well, Brick, Brick Hose 10, uh, Brick drafted Mew, which has the largest move pool of any Pokemon. And he drafted Regirock, really bulky and really offensive. Sableye, which is really defensive and stally. Weavile, which is really powerful. Sigilyph, which is really defensive stally. Sock, which is kind of really powerful. Superior, he sniped the Superior away from me. Klefki, which is really starry. Chansey, which is really stally. And Slowbro, which is really stally and defensive. So, 
pretty much um <laughs> pretty much I have I have to bring a lot of stuff to break these walls. So this is the team that I built to counteract his team. So I brought Gallade because it hits almost everything on my opponent's team with knockoff. So close comet deals damage to the Regirock, the Weavile. Um yeah, that's it. A Zen headbutt with uh, does a lot to Sock. Ice Punch does a lot to Superior and Sigilyph and Knockoff. Let me show you Knockoff. No knockoff uh, could take out Mew, Sigilyph, um, Chansey can get rid of its EV Light and Mega Slowbro before it, even though it doesn't make, even though it has a Mega Slowbro, it'll still do a lot of it. Uh, I decided to run Assault Nest on this guy for this battle because it would be taking a lot of special hits, especially um, for Mew. Because I feel like Mew would be a, a special uh, a special set if it's defensive. Plus, I also think that it would be taking special hits from Mega Slowbro. And just doing damage would knock off. Even, it's not going to really do much. So, uh, I'm going to get to to Regice and Latias later. Very later. Okay, I'm just going to go over Mega Swamper right now. So, Mega Swamper. Uh, three standard set. Waterfall, Earthquake, Ice Punch, and Hammer Arm. We are running Max Attack and Max Speed, but Adamant Nature, just to get more damage off. Now we're running... Let's go into Galvantula, which is running Thunder, Energy Ball, Bolt Switch, and Bug Buzz. I did not want to run Rocks on this on this guy. I don't know why, but, like, the box doesn't really affect most, um, much of my opponent's team. Maybe just Weavile and Sigilyph, and I really doubt he's going to bring Sigilyph. Um, and Weavile on the same team. Uh, maybe he might bring Revival with Mega Slowbro, but that's uh, that's pretty much it. So I, I decided to go with Galvantula because um, I know he's probably going to think that he, I'm going to go for like Sticky Web or something, then go into Mew to def Defog, and then I'm just going to straight up go for Bug Buzz, and then Vault Switch, and then knock him out. And, because Mew, Mew's a threat. Mew's a huge threat that I had to prepare for. Now let's get into the Pokemon that I <laughs> prepared, especially, especially this Reg Ice. <laughs> Is like my evil, it's like my evil plan. <laughs> so Reg Ice is holding the Damp Rock with Toxic Psycho, Rain Dance, and Thunder. All right, so let's explain this whole thing. <laughs> toxic take out Sableye, takes out not Sigilyph because you know uh, it takes out Sableye, Regirock, Chansey, and Mega Slowbro. That's four right there. Psycho because I already know that Mega Slowbro is gonna carry Calm Mind. I already know that Sigilyph is gonna start. Using cosmic power, so psych up, get all all the boost from there. Rain dance is set up for Mega Swamper, and if I use Rain dance, I ha also have Thunder. So if I use Toxic, um, if I use psych up on the first turn, then Rain dance, and then Thunder, Mega Slowbro is done, easy. Because plus six Thunder is gonna do neutral to Mega Slowbro, but it like not neutral. It's not gonna be. Uh, more stat boost, but it's gonna be super effective against Mega Silver. Plus, Thunder will never miss in the rain. Plus, it has 110 base power, which is gonna be 220 to Mega Silver, which is huge. Now, Chandler, Chandler, I decided to make especially offensive, uh, bulky, especially offensive, modest nature. I decided to run Calm Mind, Energy Ball, Fire Blast, and Shadow Ball with leftovers. Uh, I also decided to run Infiltrator because I feel like I really feel like one of his Pokemon is gonna set up a sub, and I'll need. Um, like, I feel like he's gonna set up a sub or screens, because look at Sigilyph, and look at Klefki, and look at Mega Slowbro. Sigilyph and Klefki can set up screens, Mega Slowbro can possibly go for substitute, uh, Sock can go for substitute, bulk up, Superior can go for substitute, I guess. Um, Mew can definitely do, Mew can do it whatever he wants, or she wants. Um, Gal, well, I already went over. Latias! <laughs> you already, you already see what's wrong with this set. <laughs> So I decided to run physically defensive Latias, which is which is decent, which is actually pretty decent, like three or five. It's not bad. Um, and also decided to run Dragon Pulse, Roots of Fog, which is standard, but now I'm running HP Fighting. For the slim chance that he is bringing the Weavile, I am gonna run HP Fighting. Um, I mean. I have to. I mean, I can take a hit from Weavile because I'm physically defensive. Like, I can take an Icicle Crash or Knock Off or Ice Shard and then one hit KO him with HP Fighting. So, it's going to be huge. Uh, maybe I should get Rocks on one of my Pokemon for that. <sighs> for the Weavile. But, I don't... Uh, this is just... Um, it's going to be it. It's going to be it. So, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a comment, subscribe. Please support the New York Lickitongs at the New York. It's named after the New York Knicks. The New York Lickitongs. Please support. Please support us and hope and pray that we that we're gonna be able to make this win because he has the bulkiest team in this league. Have a great day, guys, and bye bye.